We've gone on a lot of boat trips to different places on the Chesapeake Bay over the years. But one location we keep going back to every year is Rock Hall, Maryland. And there's one marina we always stay at that has a special place in our hearts, but also is one of the best transient marinas around. So we're back in Rock Hall, Maryland, one of our favorite places to go by boat. Uh, we had a beautiful Friday morning cruise. We left early and it was just really super beautiful out on the Chesapeake Bay, calm water, which is always nice when, when you're cruising. It took us about an hour and a half to go from Sassafras River south on the Chesapeake Bay to Rock Hall, Maryland. And when you're in Rock Hall, there's, there's really two areas that you can stay. There's the harbor side where you've got some marinas that are really close together and you've got some popular restaurants like Waterman. So there's a lot of hustle and bustle. You're really close to the downtown. Uh, well, there's not much of a downtown, but the main street area where there's shops and stuff. Or you could be on the other side of Rock Hall where um, it's a little bit more quiet. It's, it's Swan Creek. And that's where we like to stay. There's a couple marinas here that are a little bit bigger and just really nice marinas. And this is this is where we like to go because we've been going to this particular marina, Haven Harbor, for over 20 years. There's now another marina, Haven Harbor South, uh, which is actually in the harbor. But Haven Harbor North, which used to just be known as Haven Harbor, is on Swan Creek. And actually, this was the first marina that we went to before we were even boaters. Um, we, <laughs> we had a sail trip with some friends down the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, it was, I don't know, seven, eight, nine hours. It was forever. Um, so we sailed down on a 4th of July weekend and Brian and I were just, you know, just dating for maybe a year at that point. And we had such a good time here. By the end of the summer, we bought our first boat, but it was a power boat. <laughs> but this place, we just feel like it's kind of home to us. Um, we, you know, always come here whenever we come to Rock Hall. So we really enjoy it. But we come here pretty much every year. In fact, some of the footage you're gonna see is from last year, if you notice the kids and the dog a little bit bigger in this video, in some shots. One of the reasons we keep coming back to this marina is that it's very transient friendly. When you arrive, you get a welcome packet with a map of the marina and a guide to everything that the marina offers. They have three main docks and two of them are floating. We've always gotten a slip on Red Dock, which is the floating dock closest to most of the activities. And if you're traveling with friends or extended family, they even have an inn with rooms to rent located right next to the marina with views of Swan Creek and access to all the marina amenities, including a fire pit by the inn. But you definitely need to book early before the season starts to get rooms on the weekends in the summer. And there's lots of stuff to do. There's a little beach area with a playground and all these yard games for kids to play and have fun. They have kayaks and paddle boards that you can take out onto Swan Creek. And what else is there? There's bicycles that you can borrow for free so you can go around town and explore and everything's like such a small town. There's only like a few, you know, mile radius of the whole town. So you can explore and everything's really flat. So it's an easy bike ride. And there's a pool here, not super big pool, but a nice size pool. So we always like to go here so that we can swim and relax when it gets hot. Just lots of like little nice places <laughs> to hang out and, and do things at the marina. And the people here are really nice too. Like everybody here is super friendly. There's also an outside deck where they have drinks and some, you know, light sandwiches. So uh, Passages Bar and Grill, we like to go up there and kind of just hang out close to the marina sometimes but it's easy walking distance to other restaurants if you want to go anywhere else so it's just a great place to stay a few years back we had some work done on our boat and it required a a part to be ordered so we had to keep our boat here um, it ended up being over three weeks um, and they just let us keep our boat here at the slip so we drove here and spent about a month um, at this marina going into town there was the oyster fest 
which was really fun. We got to check out different things in the fall that we don't normally see when we come here during the summer. We come here pretty much every year. So we got here on Friday and we went straight to the pool because it was so hot and just really tried to enjoy all the amenities of the marina. We went to a restaurant called Blue Heron, which used to be the wheelhouse, had terrific seafood on Friday night. Saturday morning, we went for a bike ride as a family, um, just borrowed the bikes and explored around town a little bit, um, went to the Bayside, and then we tried to take the kayaks out for a little bit, but then there was a storm rolling in, because isn't there always a storm when you're on a weekend away? What do boaters do when it rains? We drink. <laughs> so we had a little storm Saturday night, but we were able to go up to Passages, um, have a bite to eat, and then just hang out on the boat Saturday night. Now here we are Sunday morning, and it's just a beautiful morning, so I'm gonna fly the drone up a little bit, get some views of the marina, and we're gonna head back in a few hours and get back to our home marina. So just a quick trip to Rock Hall, but always a, always a fun trip for the family and we will definitely be back. We're back pretty much every year. Bye bye, Rock Hall. Another great state, we haven't heard of. It was fun. Check out our month-long stay in Rock Hall video to see why we almost made Rock Hall our home work.